News Now is eclipse coverage you can count on as we continue with our live team coverage on this amazing day. Of course, Presque Isle State Park will be a hot spot for visitors this afternoon. And that's where we head out now and catch up live with our Ethan Kibbe. Hey, Ethan. Amanda, good afternoon. Busy but not yet packed here at Presque Isle. We expect that to change in the coming hours. It's been a steady flow of traffic heading into the state park. We've been here since about 9 this morning and we've seen gradually that flow of traffic pick up. There are still some spots available and lots throughout the park, but those are filling quickly. People here excited, jovial. We've talked with folks from as far away as South Carolina who just said they had to be here. Some had experienced eclipses before, Others say it's a first time. Many of them stayed further away than Erie or the surrounding region, some staying as far as Newcastle or Clarion, then driving up today saying that was the only way they could find hotel rooms. They say getting here, not a problem. Getting out, they expect to be a little bit busier. But the weather seems to be playing ball. The rain has subsided. The sun is contemplating making an appearance, it feels. The weather warming up and the mood here certainly bright, at least for the moment. And certainly anticipation building as we get closer and closer to those few minutes of totality. It's the perfect spot to be. We get just those few extra seconds compared to the city and people here are prepared to make the most of them. We'll see you in the next half hour. For now, though, from Presque Isle State Park, Ethan Kibbe, Erie News Now.